Daily in the body snatcher right here. It's a champ. Big up the sports and icon. Subscribe. Otherwise, I might pay you guys a visit. So on Sky Sports here, Francis Ngannou, the UFC knockout machine, has said that he's open for a boxing match against any of the top contenders, i.e. Tyson Fury, Anthony Joshua, Dillian White. And he's questioned whether or not Dillian White was serious when he said that he would fight him under the rules of MMA. Now, Francis Ngannou, um, now I don't follow the UFC MMA like a lot of you guys do. You guys will know so much more about this guy and plenty of other ones than what I do. But in his last four fights, he's knocked them out all out within 45 seconds. Now, he has responded to, say, for example, the likes of Dillian White, where he says that he would love to get into the MMA arena once again. Because Dillian White, he has fought um, under MMA rules once before, and he knocked out his opponent in, was it 13 seconds, I think it was. So Dillian White, he does have some form of experience in this. Of course, Dillian White is a former champion kickboxer as well. So Dillian White, he can take care of himself. Of course, the only thing we don't know about Dillian is how is he on the, on the ground? But of course, any kind of boxer, if you fight somebody under M MMA rules, that's gonna be a problem, isn't it? If they get you down, you could well be done. Now, especially with somebody like Francis Ngannou, who is a huge, huge knockout artist. Anyway, he says that Tyson Fury is his ideal opponent, as in for a boxing match. And of course, he'd like to um, square off against Anthony Joshua. But the realistic chance of that happening can only be happening under exhibition rules currently because Joshua and Fury are both champions. Francis Ngannou is not ranked anywhere in the boxing world and Fury and Joshua can only fight those who are in the top 15 of their sanctioning body. So that's pretty unlikely at the minute. But with Dillian White, Dillian White says he wants to fight this particular guy. He wants to do this at some point. And you, you can take that to the bank. Dillian White will fight you in your own back garden. You can say what you like about Dillian White, he will turn up and he will give it his all. If you're gonna beat Dillian White, you're gonna to have to land one hell of a punch on him to put him down to a point where he can't recover or when should he outbox him? Both of which are very difficult to do. But anyway, the Cameroon-born UFC superstar, who's based in France, has said this. I know who Anthony Joshua is, but Dillian White? I only heard about him when people sent me articles about him. I didn't know who he was before. I ain't got no beef with the guy. He's one of the top heavyweights and I think I'll knock him out. It's not like I hate him or dislike him. Everyone says what they want. I don't think anything about Dillian White calling me out. But if he wants to fight MMA, we'll find out. Yes, I would have a boxing match. Whoever is possible and wherever is possible, the top heavyweights. I'm always confident in my power. I have no doubt when it comes to my power. So there it is. Now he does go on and talk about the potential of the, of the Mike Tyson comeback and what he thinks and all that kind of stuff. But when it comes to Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury, that's a pipe dream. That isn't going to happen unless one of these guys are going to vacate the belt or belt, whichever one. Um, so that's very unlikely. But Dillian White in a boxing match, you'd have to favour Dillian White heavily in that one. I don't care what kind of power you have in the MMA, in boxing, it's totally different. It's totally different. Um, as um, Conor McGregor found out when he fought Floyd Mayweather. But again, Floyd Mayweather has put him in the elite of all elites kind of class. All right. So maybe, maybe, maybe something to look at under that one. But under rules of MMA, you have to favour Francis Ngannou because obviously Ngannou, he can fight on the floor as well. He can use his legs. He can use his fist. But apparently he's known for knocking out opponents in the octagon. So again... I mean, if Dillian and Ngannou was to fight and these guys were just going to be just using their fists, you'd have to favour Dillian White. Of course you would. But under rules of MMA, if he grabs Dillian, there could be some problems. Of course it could. But Dillian, as I said before, he is um, a championship kickboxer. That's what his trade was before he got into boxing. That's why he had very limited to no amateur fights. I think he only had, um, was it seven amateur fights? So he's been learning on the job ever since. But kickboxing is his background. Street fighting is his background as well. But when you're on the floor and uh, someone's got hold of your leg and they're on the verge of snapping it, what do you do? All right. But either way, it'll be an interesting one. And Dillian is probably the only 
one that's realistic because while he is interim World Heavyweight Champion and he can replace Carson Fury at any point due to his interim status, but he could go fight Ngannou. Would it happen? I don't know. Maybe. And don't, don't be surprised if it does because with all this lockdown that's going on in the world, Eddie Hearn, Frank Warren, all the top, top promoters, they're going to want to put on the kind of fights that people will want to watch. And apparently people do quite favour Francis Ngannou in a boxing ring because of what he does with his fists in the octagon. But anyway, that's what's going on. He says that he'll fight any of these top guys in a boxing ring, but he's questioning whether or not Dean White is serious about entering the octagon under the rules of MMA. Drop your thoughts below, click thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.